Get flattened or fall into the chasm. Get flattened or fall into the chasm. What did the servant have against you? Um, he's after my secret tamarind stash, but I wasn't going down without a fight. By playing dead? Well, the truth is, I got scared and bolted. I'm just a big bonehead. Yes, and you're a big wuss, and a weakling, and lots of other things that start with W. It's easy for you to call people names when you're safely in your tree. <laughs> Marsha's right. I'm nothing but a loser. You just need a bit more self-confidence, that's all. If only I were a wolf too. My life would be so much easier. <laughs> but warthogs are good at lots of things too. Like swimming, yes. There's no point in trying to make me feel better. I'm the biggest loser of all the warthogs in the jungle. <laughs> Everything scares me at the moment. <laughs> can we help? I, I, I don't know. You can help me to, uh, to, um, oh! Yes, 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 yes! Huh? Become a wolf! <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid, ridiculous idea! You're not going to seriously help this big oaf become a wolf! <laughs> <laughs> See? It's totally pointless. He's a lost cause. You're wrong, Fiona. Tolerance and team spirit, Fiona. That's also what wolves are about. Rana needs our help to get his self-confidence back. What? But, Rana, if you can make it to the top of the Golden Mountain all by yourself and howl like a wolf, you can run with the wolves for one whole day. Yes, 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 yes! Rule number one, to become a wolf, you have to run with the great strength and... I know, I know! <laughs> ...without making a sound. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> it's up to me to make sure that Rana is never allowed to run with the wolf pack. Rule number two, you've got to know how to howl. That's the only way other worlds can find you, if you get lost or something. I've come to make a deal, Shere Khan. Um, I want you to get rid of Rana for me. What's in it for me? Mowgli. I like it. Meet me on the bridge tomorrow morning. I'll bring you the Warthog. Third and final rule. To be a real wolf, you've got to be agile and know how to leap over any obstacles. <laughs> I didn't want to miss that. You're not ready to become a wolf. You jump like a lump. Marsha is right. How am I ever going to climb that mountain? I'll never be strong, nimble and brave. It's too hard. You must believe in yourself and overcome your fear. You are ready. You have the strength within you. Hmm. <laughs> You're mine now. Leave me here. I've got to do this on my own. Are you sure? You've done everything you can. Now, it's up to me. This mission is too impossible. How am I supposed to get anywhere with my little legs? I'm a lump. A lump! You have the strength within you.
Mistaken. You've given me a much better idea. Thanks to you, we're going to put an end to both Rana and Mowgli. Huh? How are you going to give me the man cub and the warthog? The pack will easily leap over this hole, but the clumsy warthog will be lagging behind and will fall into the chasm. Mowgli will fall into your claws. That's music to my ears. I did it! Oh, I did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We're proud of you, Rona. Welcome. You have truly earned a day with the wolves. <laughs> Let's go hunting. <laughs> I'm a wolf! I'm a wolf! I'm a wolf! Shh! Rona! will be spotted. Remember rule number one, be able to run without making a sound. Go on without us. We'll take a short break. Being a wolf is wearing me out. Action stations. Masha? Help! The pain! Oh, the pain! Quick! Oh, sorrow! Oh, oblivion! I'm in great danger! It's a trap! Oh, no, no, no! Sheer Khan! I'm not a wolf! I'm not a wolf! I'm a big chicken! A loser! <laughs> Save Mowgli or play dead! Save Mowgli or play dead! Oh, no, 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 no! You won't get me that easily! Two birds with one stone. It was well worth the wait to get rid of both Rana and Mowgli. Yes, 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 yes! Your time is up, man cub. Rana, you charged Shere Khan. A wolf could never have done that. I promise I'll never call you a lump again, or I'll be a monkey's uncle. You sure are one brave warthog. Come out of hiding, Fiona. We know this was all your idea. Shere Khan is as useless as Rana. Because of him, I've still got to put up with you two. Rana saved our lives. We'd all be dead if he hadn't stepped in. And it was all because that two-faced Fiona set a trap for us. Well, someone had to fight for the pack's dignity. Imagine taking in a warthog on top of the man-cub. Congratulations, Rana. You are the bravest of warthogs and deserve to be an honorary ah, wolf. Ah. As for you, Fiona, you deserve to be severely punished. Rana is going to spend a day teaching you a thing or two about courage and dignity. We're going to smash into trees. So, little wolf, to charge, you run forward, put your head down, and don't think twice. Now it's your turn. Take a good run up. 
For us, Mowgli, we couldn't go in or out without rubbing against them. Yes, itch, itch, too much. Mm, these stinging plants are a real nuisance. <laughs> uh, uh, there, that was the last one. Uh, 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 uh. Mowgli, have you finished? Yes, but it took longer than I thought. I expected to finish long before nightfall. I can hardly see a thing now. Can I have a look at your eyes, Mowgli? Why? What for? Hmm, you touched your eyes when you had the sap of that stinging plant on your hands. But I tried to be very careful. Except maybe when I fell, I had a lot of dust in my eyes. Is it serious? No, it's just a temporary blindness until his body gets rid of that poison. Blindness? I'm going to be blind? Don't worry. Tomorrow everything will be back to normal. But in the meantime, what am I going to do? I can't stay like this. What happens if it doesn't get better? We'll look after you, and I can even go and get some plants that will speed up the healing if you like. Oh yes, you bet. That's exactly what I'd like. And I'll come with you. Oh, oh. Are you sure you wouldn't like to stay here with me? Yes, I'm sure. It's a really oh. dangerous situation. I could fall into a hole, get attacked by Shere Khan, be hit by Lime lightning... Lime branch, bend forward! Ow! I did warn you, though, if you listened a bit more instead of talking all the time. Yes, well, it's not you who's gone blind. You depend on your sight too much, Mowgli. You've got other senses that you can use. It's easy to say that when you can see. Ow! Uh, uh, ow! Uh, what's that? Oh, it was Tabaki. Oh no! What's going to happen if he tells Shere Khan? Don't worry, I'll take care of him. I've had an idea. I'll take you to see a friend of mine. We're here! Would that be the voice of my old friend Baloo? And you've come with a man cub. Mowgli, this is Anupam. While I go and collect the plants for you, he's going to show you how you can use other senses, apart from sight. That could be very useful, even after you're cured. How am I going to do that? I can't see a thing. In fact, Mowgli, Anupam is blind too. Is that true? And you live alone? How do you do it? Anupam, are you there? You talk too much, man cub. Try listening instead. If you're thirsty, there's some nice juicy fruits in the tree just next to you. Thanks. Could you get... Hey! Stop waiting and do something. There won't always be someone around to do things for you. Ow! Use your ears to hear the difference between a bush that rustles and leaves that move. Hey! Oh. Ow! Follow your sense of smell to find the fruit. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's rotten! That should teach you. You have hands to feel the fruit and a tongue to taste it before you bite. Kaloo, go away! You're going to get me noticed! What have you gone and done now? Nothing at all! If Bagheera is looking for me, it's to stop me carrying out a very important mission. Mowgli's blind, and I've got to tell Shere Khan. He may not get this opportunity again. And of course, you're too stupid to make the best of it for yourself. I'll deal with Mowgli. <gasps> Traitor! Trust your senses. Feel the wood under your feet, the strength and direction of the wind against your body. Listen to the rustling of the leaves and jump onto another branch. Stand up straight to keep your balance. Go on, don't stop there. So, how about that, eh? That's what happens when you try to be too clever. If you're any good, you'll climb back up on your own. Uh, is there someone there? Uh, oh, 
Someone at last! I need help! I'm injured and I can't fly! Uh, yes, don't worry. I'll go and get a friend. Don't leave me alone! I'm stuck on the ground and anyone could attack me and eat me! <laughs> I understand. Don't worry, I'll help you. Oh, thank you. I'm called, uh, Ashan and I live not far away from here. Go straight ahead. Be careful. There's a hole on the left. You've got to help me! At least down there you can't tell Shere Khan. It doesn't matter. Kalu knows everything. <laughs> Aren't we there yet? My friend's going to be wondering where I've got to. Oh, I just had to follow the noise to find you. When you're attentive, it's easy. Being attentive is not the same as listening. What do you mean? This is another one of your lessons, isn't it? I've got to trust my own senses and not necessarily listen to what I'm told. What are you doing? <laughs> not that! That tickles! <laughs> Colin! Be careful, Mowgli. You've got to learn. The lesson's over for today. Let's go back. They're not here. Anupam must have taken Mowgli away for some training. We've got to find them straight away. Kalu knows what happened to Mowgli. He's not going to miss that kind of opportunity. They shouldn't be far away. They were heading this way. I was coming to find you, Shere Khan. I know where the man cub is. Weren't you going to catch him yourself? What? Of course not. You got it all wrong. I wouldn't want to deprive Shere Khan of the pleasure of the hunt. Take me to him. Ow! I'm going to be as good as you if I keep on like this. Yes, sure. We must hurry and find Baloo and <laughs> Mowgli! Let's see if you're still as smart now that there are two of us. I'm not scared of a couple of scavengers like you. <laughs> I told that you had a little accident, man cub. Leave him alone. Don't worry, blind monkey. I'm a hunter, and attacking the man cub when he can't defend himself would neither be fun nor worthy of me. However, a duel between equals is something else completely. What you say, man cub? I promise to keep my eyes closed, and we will fight as equals. <laughs> I can hear your heart racing, man cub. Are you nervous? You can do it, Mowgli. Stay focused. You will see as well as ever. You can stop worrying. Oh, but I'm not worried. I can get by on my own. 
I'm in total harmony with my environment and myself. And if you like, I can show you the way home, no problem. <laughs> Concentration. <laughs> I'll be glad when I get my sight back. <laughs> What's the matter, Baggy? Are you coming to play or not? Are you sulky? No, it's just that Baloo is a real pain in the neck when he wants to be. Oh, he always does the teacher thing a bit, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, he had the cheek to tell me that I was lazy, when it's him who sleeps all the time. And you're sulking for that? He's always telling me, you should put on some Jimson weed essence because the yellowtail moth that's swarming in the jungle is very bad for your skin, man-cub. <laughs> <laughs> you imitate him really well. There, get a whiff of this nice smell. Yuck! <laughs> oh, that stinks! <laughs> it's true that Baloo's not his normal self at the moment. Well, that's because he's in love. <laughs> really? It wouldn't be with a big fat bear called Bella by any chance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they give each other little bear kisses? <laughs> Can you hear anything? No. What should I be hearing? Normally you can hear snufflings, growlings, but now nothing. A jungle with no noise is not natural. Come on! Hey, Rana! This is no time to be sleeping. Rana! Doesn't stink like he usually does. You mean he has a nice stink? <laughs> <laughs> if you think that old smoke is a nice stink, yes, he has a nice stink. Everything's still silent. Come on, we'll go and find Baloo. Baloo! Baloo! Bah, he's very busy elsewhere. At least like that, he's not on our backs all day. You're right. We'll find out what's happening without him. <gasps> you see, there is still someone making a noise in the jungle. What's happened to Parvo? Did you knock him out, Fula? I didn't do a thing. I came down from the tree to try and get away from that idiot, and I found Parvo like this. It's impossible to wake him up. I wasn't hounding her, I was chatting. He smells smoke, just like Rana. Leave him alone, let him die in peace. He's not dying, he's... Mowgli, he's going to live, isn't he? Of course he is, Mina, he's just very tired, that's all. You'd be better depending on a real peacock. One who's strong, very much alive, and rather magnificent. <laughs> second time we've seen this in the jungle. It's strange. We were in a tree too and we're wide awake. That means that everyone who was on the ground has become a victim of... The smoke? Of what? I don't know, but... Come on, Bagheera. We'll go and find out. Take your time. Mina and I have some things to talk over. Please hurry, Mowgli. <sighs> What's that? Maybe it's Baloo. Oh, well, our best enemies. There's that smoky smell again. Look at that. I bet they were talking about you. Which gives me an idea. <laughs> now they're all tied together. I wonder how long they'll be able to stand each other. <laughs> Chanda! She smells just like the others. Where's Chota? Just a minute. If Shere Khan's not asleep, like us, he'll attack defenseless animals like Chota. We've got to stop him from taking advantage of the situation. It'd be perfect if he were asleep too. Oh! Oh! I thought it was Shere Khan. She doesn't smell of smoke like the others. What happened to you, Darcy? <laughs> oh, she probably forgot to flap her wings. I... Uh, aren't you asleep? I've seen some animals asleep around here somewhere. And have you seen Shere Khan? Uh, yes. No, yes, yes. He was walking. I can't remember where. On the mountain. Whatever, he wasn't asleep anyway. That sounds right. He was up high and wasn't affected like the others. We've got to solve this mystery before Shere Khan starts a massacre. 
Did you see where the smoke was coming from? Look, I don't understand why you stick by that wimpy peacock who goes to sleep all the time. It's not his fault. Right. I'll count to three, and if he doesn't wake up, we'll have a kiss. One. You must be joking. Two, three. There, that's it. He's had his chance. Now it's time for a kiss. No! Huh? One kiss, Mina. Just one kiss, please. Stop, please. Just one kiss. <laughs> What have we here? Leave him alone! Help him, Fooler! Peacock meat's always tasty. Did you see where the smoke was coming from? I think so. What's the matter with this peacock? If you heard him, you'd better watch out for Mowgli. Mowgli? He's coming back to save Pavo. His meat is sure to be tastier than this moldy peacock. Ha! Huh, I agree with you there. <coughs> and where is Mowgli? Don't think I'm going to tell you. <coughs> oh, he's going to find out where the smoke is coming from. So that's what put the Stupid animals to sleep. Right, smoke can only come from one place. What are you doing? Leave him alone! That smell, it's coming from over there, from the human village. What if it was that smoke that put the animals to sleep? Quick, Baggy, protect yourself! Oh, oh, I think I've breathed some in. <coughs> I recognize the smell. It's Jimson weed. That's what Baloo made me put on my skin to keep off the yellowtail moth. Well, the humans are burning it, probably for the same reason. Except that the smoke puts the jungle animals to sleep, but the smell of the essence just keeps them away. Uh... Quick, Bagheera, you're starting to fall asleep. You've got to get away from the village. Well, man cub, have you found where the smoke is coming from? Yes, and you've found a way of hunting sleeping animals. How brave! Uh, it looks like your friend Bagheera isn't feeling too well. He's going to have a hard time defending you. <laughs> Here, Bagheera. Uh, the smoke has stopped. Wait a bit, Mowgli. I need a rest. Oh, Chota. 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 Bagheera, thank you for finding my little Chota. has a girlfriend now. Ah, you overthink sometimes, Mowgli. <laughs> Hi! I don't get it. Didn't we have a great plan for trapping Mowgli? I think it's Mowgli who trapped us. I told you we shouldn't all meet here. You coward! I'll never kiss you! Parvo's in Shere Khan's stomach, so you don't really have a choice. <laughs> ah! Surprise! <gasps> oh. It's a good job you arrived. Your Mina wouldn't leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> That's a good idea. You never know, the moths might come back. And I asked Rangu, who lives near the human village, to warn us as soon as they light another fire. 
At the first sign of smoke, everyone must either climb a tree or leave. That way no one will fall asleep. What's the matter, Baloo? Nothing. Well, there is something. Somebody put some flowers in my paws. <laughs> well, didn't she like them? No. Bella's allergic to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> It's much more serious than I thought. Our tree's covered in a kind of fungus that's suffocating it. But it's not going to die, is it? I don't know, Mowgli. But for the moment, we'll have to find another place to sleep. I promise that we'll do everything to save it. It's always been our tree. You can trust Baloo. He knows lots of remedies. But the tree will not get better quickly. Should I look for another place to sleep for the three of us? Yes, unfortunately, at least for a while. Huh. So, are you ready for a bout with me, eh? Come on, come on, I'm waiting for you. Oh, hello, Ricky. I'm sorry, but I don't really feel like playing. What's the matter? Our tree is withering. Oh, yeah? That doesn't matter. There are lots of other trees. Yes, but that's ours. Mine. Baloo and Bagheera's. I grew up in that tree. Wait, wait, wait. I can show you some great places where you'll sleep really well. Really? I'm going to show you a place with a fantastic view. You're not the only one interested, but if you want it, I can make sure you get priority right now. Where is it? Well, you see, I wasn't lying. Pretty impressive, eh? Impressive, but very, very small. It's not small, it's compact. It would be a bit of a crush for the three of us. Uh, you've got to decide what you want. If you want a great view, you've got to climb a bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, Bagheera. You will. Keep trying. I'm sure you'll be able to save our tree. Have you seen how original it is? You really can't be tall. I mean, it's really very low. Ah! Where are you? I slept! I'm in a hole! Here! That's not a hole. It's a sleeping place. Baloo will never get in here. He'll just have to crawl. It'll be good exercise for him. Honestly, this is a great deal and very unusual. Yes, well, maybe it's just a bit too unusual and... Uh... What's that smell? Smell? What smell? <laughs> Who on earth lived there before? A polecat, I think. Why? The leaves will stick there all night and tomorrow. When they fall, the tree will be cured. And if they fall straight away? That would mean that it wasn't a good method. Where is it? Uh, what is it? It's there, on the rock. How do we get to it? It's very easy. You cross this pond of pure water. You get up in the morning, take a quick little dip in there, and you come out all... Covered in mud? What's more, in the evening when you're talking about a marsh, you're talking about... Mosquitoes! <laughs> and when they sting, we scratch happily. You're too choosy. Find something on your own. I heard your predicament. It's terrible. Baloo, Bagheera and I have got to leave our tree. If Shere Khan wasn't so selfish and nasty, you could go live with him. Yes, very funny. Do you think I'd throw myself in your pal's mouth just like that? He's not my pal, just an acquaintance that I use. Do you know what I mean? If the truth be known, I detest him. But on the other hand, I like you and if I could help you... <sighs> You see the jungle better from the sky. I'll find a good place for you to sleep. You'll see. Hmm. I have to find another remedy. If the roots also come to the surface, that's a very bad sign. Where's the deer, you 
promised me. It was there. It was just begging to be eaten, but it got away. You are totally hopeless. You are no good to me at all. You just live off my leavings, that's all. Uh, get lost, you feathered fool. <laughs> Think that there is a little man cub who finds himself with nowhere to live. A man cub who is wandering in the jungle all alone. Well, well. And knowing how helpful you are, I imagine that you have found him something. Yes, a nice place, not very far from here. A place where a tiger could easily hide and surprise a solitary man cub. Oh, Mowgli will never fall into such an obvious trap. It'll be easy, believe me. It's a hopeless plan. Keep your remarks to yourself, Tabaki. It is your plans that are hopeless. Oh. Something. I can get along fine by myself. Ah! <sighs> That's a shame. Is it far away? I'm sure he's going to show him something pathetic. The <laughs> traitor! What are you doing there? Yeah, I know you. Do you want to suggest a place to Mowgli too? Mowgli can sleep wherever he wants. It doesn't matter to me. What do you want with Mowgli? Well, what do you think? You see, I didn't lie to you. It's... it's... Incredible! And you haven't seen the inside yet. Go in then, man-cub. First, let me take a look. Tell Baloo and Baggy, they'll come to see this. Take it from me, you just won't believe what's inside this tent. Well, well, well. So you've changed friends, have you? Ricky! <sighs> just who we needed. Is that all he's found you for a sleeping place? You can see that it's falling apart. Look, it's fine. Don't you know that if Kalu says that it's fine, that means in reality that it's not? What do you know about it? Nothing! If this feathered fibber says something, you always have to believe the opposite. Absolutely not at all! That tiger's a cruel idiot. Everyone knows that. You... There! It's like I said. You are right. Cher Khan is excessively intelligent. What's more, this kind of thing's not stable. The slightest gust of wind and it blows away. Look, no windows. That means even in broad daylight, it's night in there. You see those things? They're no use at all. Look, heave ho! Leave that alone, you stupid fool! <laughs> you say that, but I know you mean the opposite. <gasps> You've got to admit that Ricky's right. It doesn't seem very strong. It is, it is. Go and look inside. Hey, Tabaki, oh. are you there too? Come on, you can give us your opinion. <laughs> Tabaki, come and help me. Get out of it yourself. You're the one who's so clever. Hey, that's enough. Break it up, you guys. <laughs> If you'd let me in on your plan, Mowgli would already be inside. Which of you two is Shere Khan's favourite? <laughs> oh, what stupid idiots! Wait for me, Master. Oh, that's Kalu's fault. I'll get you out of there. I said this wasn't the right place for you. You're right. And the occupier didn't seem too pleasant. Wait! Let me help you! Master, remember that Kalu called you a cruel idiot! <laughs> Baggy, I 
didn't find anything. I'm sorry. Ooh. Don't worry, Mowgli. These flies eat tree fungus. They've saved our tree. Look. Right. It'll be a while before we can live in it again, but it will soon get its strength back. We'll stay around here to keep an eye on its recovery. There. It's ready. It's not too high, not too low, not too light, not too dark, not too damp, but not too dry. It's totally ricky-ticky. <laughs> <laughs> Can. Why not? Because the monkeys don't want anybody with them when they have a music party. I didn't know you could play so well. It's in my genes. I've always played divinely. But you sing pretty well too. As you play well and I sing pretty well, we could maybe have a music party that really swings too. Excellent idea. Except that there needs to be more than two of us. Hello, Mowgli. Hello, Ricky. He's good, isn't he? Yes, but he's Shere Khan's friend and that's not too good. It would only be for the party. He play music with us and that's all. Hello, Tabaki. We're looking for talents like yours to come and make music with us. But no tricks, though. You're Shere Khan's friend and... Oh, he's not my friend. I'm at his service. But for me, music comes first. Come on, then. Let's make the music. Psst. What's your plan? There isn't one. I'm just going to make some music with them. I hope you're joking. If Shere Khan learns that you're palling up with Mowgli, you'll be in big trouble. He doesn't have to know. I'd be obliged to tell him. Uh, no, uh, but uh, don't say anything. I'll do what's necessary to trap the man cub. You'd better. Why don't we give the others a surprise and go and rehearse a bit further away? Good idea! Where? Between the cold lair and the den, for example. Just next to Shere Khan, then? Oh, yes! That's true. It's not far away. Now, I thought we'd just go over there because the sound's great. It's true that good sound's important, and I know a great place for that. Come on! <gasps> this looks like a good place to rehearse. We just need to clear it up a little. Set a trap for Mowgli. What are you waiting for? It's not the right moment. You see, we've kind of made a truce. A truce? With Mowgli? How would Shere Khan like it if I told him about this musical truce with your new friends? Do you think you're strong enough to lift that rock? Who are you trying to make it fall on? Uh, uh no. Hmm. That's better. My back was itching, but now you're here. Uh, uh, oh, you two know how to sing, don't you? How about joining Mowgli's group? Mowgli's forming a group? Sing? Yeah, why not? So, shall we give it a try, all together? Snakes and bears are the same, they say, doing nothing but lend the sun they lay, and despite their enormous ears, an elephant can hardly hear. But I tell you this, I don't agree. All I need is me. Not only monkeys, they'll have to party. We can laugh and sing so sweet. Or move our heads and tap our feet. Not only monkeys know how to party. They say only monkeys know how to swing. But they've got rhythm in their blood, they're producing. They're the kings. The other animals aren't as good. But I tell you this, I don't agree. Because when we move, 
It's good. Well, we want to go too. There's no way we're going to get mixed up with a load of animals who p play man cub music. That was really good, Bala. And I'm like you. I've no voice left. Everybody's gone, but shall we do another one? It was really great, and I'm all in. We can't sing anymore. Shere Khan is not a patient tiger, so if I tell him that you're planning music with the man cub instead of bringing him to the den... Don't talk nonsense! My plan will bear its fruits. We'll move our heads and tap our feet. Not only monkeys know how to party. And I've had another idea. You go and see Mowgli and tell him. We've already got one song, but it would be good to have another. Hey, Mowgli, did you know that they're talking about you everywhere, even on the other side of the mountain? What do you mean? You didn't notice, but there were some mountain birds when you were singing, and they loved it. Now they've prepared a feast for you, so that you'll go and sing over there. Sure they have. Don't believe me, then. But when you've a talent like yours, well... Very quickly, everyone starts talking about you. What do you think? My arms are like jelly. I don't think it'll be possible. It would be a shame to miss that, though. Besides, you and I could just go together. They'd love it. It's true that it's a good opportunity. Besides, I love singing. I'll go and represent our group. I'll tell you about it and we can all go later. Come on, come on, come on! I'm not going to let you go on your own. You need a good rhythm section. No, but if you're tired, come another time. Sure, but it was me who put the group together, along with Mowgli, who helped me a bit. You're right, Ricky. You mustn't let me have all the glory. Come on! The vain little thing fell into such an obvious trap. We'll just have to wait for him at the bottom of the mountain. Hello, man cub. Would you like to have a little jam session with us? I thought you just wanted to be with other monkeys. It was Masha who didn't want you, but not us. We do. They change their minds like they change bananas. We're not at their beck and call. It's mainly because musically, they are rather primitive. Ooh, is that primitive? <laughs> You've succeeded for once, Tabaki. I thought music came first for you. That's what I thought too. Uh. Ah! Well, man cub, are you ready for your last? Concert. Ah. Oh, 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 stupid. What? Go on, Ricky. Show him what you can do with your drumsticks. Stop! We've got to rehearse for the mountain audience that's waiting for us. Kalu lied. There's no one waiting. I knew that all that was a trap. I was pretending right from the beginning, of course. You don't fool Ricky Ticky Tavi that easily. Does that mean that what we do is no good? You're really great, and you're really strong, too. And now Marsha's changed her mind and wants to know if you'd like to have a big party together. Party time in the jungle. All good friends just having fun. Do up, do up, do up, do up. Play that music in the sun. Party time in the jungle. 
get together and stamp your feet. Do up, do up, do up, do up, do up, dance forever and feel the beat. Hey yo, all together. Hey yo, all together. Hey yo, all together. Happy all together. Hey yo, all together. Hey yo, all together. Hey yo, all together. Happy all together. Happy all together. What succulent morsels have you hunted for me? Thanks to my powers of hypnosis, I can make you do whatever I want. Yes, Master! I can get food with no effort at all. Yes, yes Master! And as much as I like. <laughs> what are we doing here with... I don't believe it! You've hypnotized us again! I'm sick of it! You're two such servile servants. Why should I deprive myself of your services? Unless you prefer that I eat you both slowly. Keep your feet firmly on the ground. Are you really sure that we can force back whoever we want like this? Oh. <laughs> Mona and Mira have stolen my prey again. My dear little prey. <laughs> it's incredible. A man's blowing into a bamboo stick. He's hypnotized three snakes. Ah, oh, oh. If we took that singing stick, we could hypnotize Car ourselves. As you want us to, to go to the humans? Have you got crazy? Mira, do you want to spend the rest of your life stealing carrion for Car? I don't. You said that the monkeys have already stolen from other animals too. It's strange all the same. It's time we did something about it. Yes, but this is Tabaki, guys. We're not going to stop our training for him, are we? You're treating me like I don't count for more than an old coconut. Because when we try and help you, you betray us and bring nothing but trouble. Ah! Tabaki, come back! We can help you. We'll go and see the monkeys to get your food back. Come on! The law should be the same for everyone! <laughs> oh. How can I serve you, Supreme Mistress? I want you to tie a big knot in your tail. <laughs> Master! Master! I know where to find the man-cub. I'm listening. The man-cubs with the monkeys. We can surprise them and crunch. We'll eat them all. You mean crunch. I will be able to eat them all. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. I'll get my rat back. Ow! Wait for me, Master!
What can I do for you, Supreme Mistress? You see, you just have to play now and again to keep Ka obedient. Does that mean that we can ask Ka to do anything we want and he'll do it? Exactly. You can... Ah. Hey! Give me ah. back the singing stick! Ah. 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 must have stolen that flute from a real snake charmer so they could hypnotize Carr. I get it. They've inverted the roles. Carr must have been hypnotizing the monkeys and making them steal food from other animals. They got fed up of it. Maybe, but the monkeys have broken the most important law in the jungle. Never steal anything belonging to the humans. We've got to do something. <laughs> to hypnotize Carr. The singing stick? Yes, the singing stick. It's called a flute, and keeping a human object is much too dangerous. Ha, 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 ha! Come and get the fruit, uh, flute. Ah, oh, oh. What can I do for you, Supreme Mistress? Catch them! Leave it to me. I've always been good with my paws. Right, now, the flute. We've got to give it back to the humans straight away. Hmm, a snake charmer's flute. Huh? What's that? Is it good? I hope that you'll apologize to Carr when he returns to normal. Ah, uh, no way! He's been hypnotizing us for months and making us steal for him! That's called exploitation. There's a strange smell around here. You guessed a little too late, Bagheera. Shere Khan! <laughs> now! You're mine, man cup. Today, victory belongs to me. Hey, monkeys! Blue! I need help! Hey! Oh! Oh! Thanks. We're sorry, Mowgli. This is all our fault. Just wanted to teach Carr a good lesson. Give me back the man cub! Yes! Give him back! We've got to get rid of Shere Khan and Tabaki. Listen, I've got a plan. Right. If you don't come down, Mowgli, I'm going to eat Baloo! Leave Baloo alone! It's me that you want! <sighs> no! What can I do for you, Supreme Mistress? Go and help Mowgli! You're mine, man cub. <laughs> what can I do for you, Supreme Master? Attack the monkeys! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. 
What am I doing here? You've enslaved me. Yes, and I hope you'll stop sending the monkeys to hunt for you. You won't get me again. This flute almost came between us all. I think it would be best to go and take it back now. The man cub was lucky again. Look at what I've made for you, master. Do you want to get your revenge? I don't want to hear about flukes ever again! Whoa.